This video is a step-by-step -step assembly guide for the K&L 900 series tire changer. Straighten bottom locking tabs using screwdriver. Remove the crate. This may require two people. Remove plastic shrink wrap. Set aside loose content for assembly. Remove all zip ties and brackets securing the tilting tower. Remove plastic tray using Allen wrench and set aside for later. Remove side inspection panel and set aside for later. Prepare loose content for assembly. Install airlock handle using supplied mounting allens. Remove cap to install heavy duty hex spring. Make sure to use the longer spring. Reinstall the cap that was removed earlier. Prepare airline for installation of tower. Familiarize yourself with the safety lock and air cylinder positions. Pre-install the tower pivot shaft. Using two people, position tower into place. Make sure airline doesn't get pinched while routing it through the guide hole. Align, install, and tighten pivot shaft. Set towering position screws to reduce end play. Carefully position tower back. Familiarize yourself with the positioning of the safety lock and air cylinder joint. You will need to know this for the installation of the tilting pin. Align safety lock, air cylinder joint, and tower mounting holes. Then insert tilting pin and install circlips. Install tower airline into open end of pneumatic T-fitting.
position bead breaker pad with cutout facing forward. Screw in the bead breaker pad using supplied allens. Remove bead breaker hardware. Position bead breaker pivot shaft so the flat surface is mating with nut. Slide bead breaker arm into place and install hardware. Install bead breaker spring using spring puller. Install air gauge assembly to tilting tower using provided hardware. Connect air filter line to its resting position. Install cosmetic covers using provided hardware. Compress and install lube bucket retaining ring. Reinstall storage tray using provided Allen bolts. Unpackage and unwrap the assist arm. Arrange assist arm components. Prepare brackets for assist arm installation by placing the thicker spacer on top and aligning the thinner support bracket on the bottom. Lift the assist arm and place it on the top of the spacer aligning the screw holes. Put the screws through the assist arm holes and the spacer. While holding bracket in place, install washer and nylock on all four screws. We recommend using power tools for a quicker installation. Place both assist arms into its proper position. Install locking shaft 
Make sure the open end is facing down. Line up top two mounting holes and secure with provided Allen bolts. Align pneumatic shaft with open end of locking shaft. Movement of assist bracket will be required. Make sure holes are aligned and secure with the last Allen bolt. Make sure assist arms move freely. Remove hardware from the rolling arm. Insert rolling arm into holder. Screw in the locking knob. And finally, reinstall the hardware. Tightly secure the color-coded pneumatic lines. Cut pneumatic line from the bottom of the air tank, then install Y fitting. Connect airline from Y fitting to assist arm. Mount the toolbox bracket on the assist arm. Install tool tray to the mounting bracket while making sure the holes from the toolbox are facing upward. K&L's 900 series tire machine comes with accessories that work for automotive and power sport tires.